All right, so in this video, we're gonna show you how to set up RetroArch so that when you quit a game, it will automatically exit back to ESDE as well as close the emulator so that when you start a new game from ESDE, uh, it starts that new game. Um, so there's two steps to this. First, we'll start in RetroArch. Let's go into RetroArch first. Now, in RetroArch, I'm using version 17. I think this should also work in 16. There's essentially two settings that you should worry about. The first one is in settings, user interface, and then it's called quit on closed content. There's a few options here. I have mine set to CLI because essentially when ESDE launches a game from its interface into RetroArch, it's launching a game over the command line or CLI. So having it set to this means that when I launch games from ESDE and then exit them in RetroArch, it'll close the emulator completely and exit back to ESDE. You could also have it set to on. What on would do is that it would apply the quit on close setting regardless of how you started RetroArch. So for example, if you were in RetroArch directly, you opened it up directly like I have here and played a game and decided to close your content, this on setting would close RetroArch completely as well. So that's why I have it set to CLI because it affords the possibility of launching a game from ESDE and having it close correctly and also launching a game directly by opening RetroArch directly and having it not exit RetroArch. So those are the two different options. So recommendation here, just to keep it simple, set it to CLI. So once you have that set, the other setting to worry about is in the input settings under hotkeys. And the buttons that are specifically used here are probably gonna be different depending on your device you're on. I'm using a Retro, uh, Retro, Retroid Pocket 4 Pro. So I have my hotkey set to the back button, but you could set that to whatever you want. <clears throat> the key value here is something called close content. So in this case, I have close content set to the start button. So basically if I press back plus start, it'll close the existing content. And that setting plus the setting we just looked at called quit on content will fully close out RetroArch completely. <clears throat> As an alternative, just throw it out there. You could also avoid the quit on close content setting completely if you set your hotkey to quit instead. Um, you know, it's just an option. I prefer having it to be closed content because it allows some more flexibility, uh, but just something to call out as a secondary option you could consider. So to keep it simple though, out of the gate, quit on closed content I have set to CLI, and then in hotkeys I have my close button set to whatever button I want to use to close content out. And with those two settings in place, let's show you how this works. So let's go back to, whoops, let's go back to ESDE. And I'm gonna start a Genesis game. All right, so let's start uh, Comic Zone as an example. <clears throat> so off the bat, you could see it opened up Comic Zone directly. Um, and if I press back and start, it exits back to ESDE. And now the, first, the full test here would be, let's say if I started out Fantasy Star 4, that when I start this, it's gonna start Fantasy Star 4 and not Comic Zone. Let's hope that works, let's see. And boom, boom, you could see. Perfect, it opened up RetroArch perfectly and started Fantasy Star 4. So again, if I press my hotkey and start to close content, um, basically closes back here. And that works pretty consistently across any, um, any systems that I have set up to use RetroArch. Of course, there may be different settings in other emulators, like if you're using Dolphin, uh, Standalone, or uh, Citrus Standalone, for example, they have different ways to do this. So keep in mind that this really only applies to RetroArch as an example. We'll probably do videos on those other emulators if they, if they will be helpful. So um, what else to show? Ah, something else that comes up often is if you open up the kind of activity window here, it looks like RetroArch is still open. It's not actually open. Um, all Android is doing at this pace, uh, in this case, is showing the ex things that were previously open. So if I were to actually go here to start that up, you could see it restarts the last game. Um, and it, only, it did that because when I was in this game before, I closed it out when I was done. So let me show you something interesting here. Right now you can see I started this game from essentially the home screen. I didn't start it from ESDE. So if I do my close combination here, 
takes me back to my home screen. So just something to keep in mind. Um, my advice basically is if you have a game that you want to start, open up ESDE, make sure you have those settings we just talked about in RetroArch set, and then start and close your games directly from ESDE. So if I start my game here, and if I quit, it goes back to ESDE. Hope that helped. Um, yeah, if you have any other questions, let us know. Thanks so much.